I'm about to take me a coffee to go. Got me a little Spartamine and a hazelnut cream. We used to hazelnut cream with all the shit. <laughs> What's good, YouTube? You know who it is. Chris Jones, represent for Zisa Greatness. And as you see, just got done having me a little IHOP, man. Got my coffee. I'm about to go home and take care of some emails. And I uh, want to go ahead and touch on a quick topic real quick. Um, you probably saw my video recently where I posted. I told y'all how i pretty much been getting leaner without going on a diet. And I briefly mentioned how I increased my training volume. And I want to touch on that real quick. PM, as you may or may not know, I already train at ridiculously high volume. Now, by no means am I saying high volume is the only way to train. Hey, people could train how the fuck they want. I could really care less, you know. Train however you want. As long as you're making gains, I can care less because at the end of the day, you're stepping on stage to the next motherfucker. Then it doesn't matter whose training style is the best. It doesn't matter who got the best physique. So train however is getting you results you desire. And if doing some low volume shit is getting you there, by all means, do that shit. But as you see, my style is working for me. But anyway, so people will wonder, how the fuck do you fit all that training volume in? Are you in the gym like for several hours? Because I would imagine training that kind of volume, you'll be in the gym for some hours. And that's that's a pretty good assumption to have because my, I do have quite a few sets, man. Damn, this coffee good as fuck. But anyway, no, I'm not in the gym no several hours. Actually, I'm in the gym about the same, sometimes even less. Now, let me explain. I've been doing a lot of supersets lately, a lot of fucking supersets, man. Um, and before you try to go to the gym and start doing a fuckload of supersets because I started doing them and you feel like you want to give it a try, keep one thing in mind. When you do supersets, your cardiovascular system is going to be taxed greatly. Like, you're going to run out of breath in no time if you're not fit. Like, when I was 220, I tried to go to the gym and do one of my Curse for the Girls workouts. And as you know, Curse for the Girls is, like, very high volume. And uh, I superset the whole exercise with bicep and triceps. I tried supersetting close bench, bench with a... Uh, with some uh, standing heavy barbell curls, and I ran out of breath, so I ended I ended up doing biceps first and triceps next. You know I couldn't superset no more because I would run out of breath, and running out of breath would cause me to take hella long breaks, and it would cause my PRs to drop. Superset sh you should not have to sacrifice your PRs for a superset. For an example, if you bench press 225 for eight reps. And you do a superset, you should still be bench pressing 225 for 8 reps, regardless if you're supersetting or not. Maybe your breaks are too short, or maybe supersets are just too much for you. So keep that in mind, man. Supersets are just supposed to help you get more. Super, the purpose of doing a superset is to help you get more volume in your training with less time. It's to help you save time in the gym, okay? So you should never sacrifice performance for a superset. But with that said, like, if anybody's ever got my 160 160 pounder to 175 pound training program and my 180 pounder to 195 pounder program, which are both the same, by the way. I don't know why I did that, but I feel like it was more marketable to, you know, put weights on there. You know, if you got the fucking meal plan, I thought it'd be cool to say, hey, get the get the uh, program and go with it. You know, I wasn't thinking at the time, but those those programs are both the same. The meal plans are obviously different. Obviously, the calories are different, but the training programs are the same. But fuck all that. If you ever got my training program on my site, um, you probably saw the chest and back routine. And um, instead of doing the chest and then doing the back, you could superset like in this clip right here. I did the bench press, right? And as soon as I got up, went straight into the lap pull down. You know what I'm saying? take like a minute break, maybe even two, depending on how you feel, and do it again. Great supersets. You know, you're in and out of the gym in less time, and you can save more room for more exercises, you know? So like I said, you know, I did the routine from the program, and uh, another day I went to the gym, right? And I had a back day. I threw in some calves. I threw in some traps. I even threw in a little, a little bit of glute work, right? And instead of 
doing that shit at the end of my workout, I supersetted that shit. You know, I did some uh, dumbbell pullovers with some standing calf raises, supersetted. And in this clip you're seeing right here, I did shrugs with the hammer strength station. And as soon as I finished doing shrugs, I went straight into deadlifts. Now, I like to call these trap bar deadlifts. If anybody ever been to a gym, like one of those hardcore gyms, you might see a bar called the trap bar, or you can step inside of it and grab the handles with a neutral grip. It mimics that motion. I like trap deadlifts better than regular deadlifts. Much less pressure on my lower back, and you don't gotta worry about the fucking bar scraping your shins, you know? I love the way it feels on my glutes. I love the way it feels on my traps. And, I, and it helps bring up that Christmas tree. Matter of fact, speaking of the Christmas tree, I'll post a picture on the screen. Bam! As you see, back is not lagging. I don't do fucking deadlifts, man. All I do is rack pulls, hyper extensions, and shit like this, you know? So people who tell you you have to do fucking deadlifts just to get a great back, you're full of shit. Deadlifts is a great workout, but don't you dare act like it's something you have to do to look good. That's that's a less fucking lie. But anyway... So, um, pump trying to make gills. My volume has increased. You know, I probably added an additional 15 sets per, per workout day. But, I'm not in the gym longer. I just do a lot of supersets now. And as you see, it's keeping me lean. You know, making great progress. You know, I, I absolutely love it. It gets me out of the gym quicker so I can go about my fucking day because I got clients. Keep in mind, guys, this is the New Year resolution. Every client on earth clients probably doubled you know what i'm saying so i got a lot of clients and i'm loving it right now you know what i'm saying that's more chances to um better myself and learn more because every time i train a client and i gotta help them bust through a plateau i actually learn more you know what i'm saying it's more chances to get myself out there it's more chances to post transformations on instagram to motivate y'all and quite frankly it's more chances to make more money for myself and get my name out there so I love the extra clientele I'm getting, and uh, I just love this life. I love what I do, man. So uh, stay tuned for my training videos. If you thought my volume was high, you're going to really think it's high now, man. My fucking training is brutal, and I absolutely love it. I couldn't, I can't see myself training any other way. People be commenting in the comments. Says, Chris, why don't you try this style? Why don't you try power spell? Fuck that. This is how I fucking like to train. This is my fucking dojo. You know, so you train, you, you subscribe to this channel, be looking forward to my style of training. You subscribe to the next motherfucker channel, look at their style of training. Don't come to this channel and try to tell me to do shit. I like how I train, you know what I'm saying? And I know I'm not alone. I know a lot of people watching this do that high volume shit just like me. I be on Instagram, I see, I see y'all tagging me. Salute to everybody out there fucking shit up, man. <laughs> anyway, I'm about to get on this coffee. Get my ass back home and get to these clients. I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. Holler back at your boy.